Attention, fellow preppers. Are you ready for the unthinkable? A 30-day deadly winter blackout? When the power grid fails and the world goes dark, will you be prepared? Today, I'm going to reveal the top 10 essential items you must stockpile to survive a prolonged winter emergency. These aren't just suggestions. They're the difference between thriving and merely surviving. 1. Water. In any situation where normal life is disrupted, especially during blackouts or natural disasters, your regular water supply can be at risk. That's why it's vital to ensure you have a safe and adequate water supply on hand. For a 30-day emergency period, it's recommended to stockpile a minimum of one gallon of water per person per day. This means for just one person, you'll need at least 30 gallons for a month. Remember, water is indispensable not only for drinking, but also for essential daily activities like cooking and maintaining hygiene. To store your water safely, use clean food-grade containers. These should be kept in a place away from direct sunlight and any potentially harmful chemicals. This precaution helps to keep the water safe for consumption over an extended period. Having a sufficient store of water is crucial for survival, particularly in situations where you might lose access to your regular water supply. By being prepared and having an adequate amount of water stored, you can significantly improve your resilience and safety in emergency situations. 2. Non-perishable food. To our U.S. Prepper audience, it's crucial to prioritize assembling an adequate supply of non-perishable food to ensure your family's safety and well-being in case of emergencies. When selecting items, focus on those that don't need refrigeration, cooking, water, or special preparation. This simplifies your emergency plan and reduces the resources needed during a crisis. Your stash should include a variety of canned meats, fruits, and vegetables, which offer essential nutrients and have a long shelf life. Dry cereal, a convenient and quick source of energy, should also be part of your inventory. Peanut butter is another excellent choice. It's packed with protein and healthy fats, vital for energy sustenance. Don't overlook dried fruits and nuts. They are not only nutritious, but also have a long shelf life. Crackers can substitute for bread and are a good source of carbohydrates. Powdered milk is an excellent addition, providing calcium and protein without the need for refrigeration. Energy bars are also important. They are compact, calorie-dense, and can be a quick source of energy and nutrients. A critical aspect of your emergency food supply is the quantity. Aim for a minimum 30-day supply for each person. This should be based on a diet providing at least 2,000 calories per day. Remember, in stressful or physically demanding situations, calorie needs may increase, so this figure is a baseline. While selecting these items, focus on those that are high in calories and nutritional value. It's also essential to consider any dietary restrictions or allergies that members of your family might have. Tailoring your food supply to meet these needs ensures that everyone remains healthy and catered for during emergencies. 3. Staying warm in winter blackouts. It's essential for survival to stay warm during winter blackouts. Prepare by stockpiling thermal clothing, blankets, and sleeping bags. Insulated layers and wool or fleece blankets are key for retaining heat. Consider portable heaters, like propane or kerosene, with a safe fuel supply and proper ventilation to prevent carbon monoxide poisoning. Battery-operated or hand-crank heaters are safer alternatives. Also keep warm hats, gloves, and socks handy as a lot of heat is lost through the head, hands, and feet. This preparation is crucial to prevent hypothermia and ensure safety during winter blackouts. 4. Fuel and electricity alternatives. It's imperative for you, as a prepper, to have reliable and safe alternative sources for fuel and electricity. The crux of your preparation should revolve around two critical aspects fuel for heating and cooking, and electricity alternatives. Starting with fuel for heating and cooking, it's vital to meticulously calculate your fuel needs. For propane, a standard 20-pound tank can run a portable heater for about 48 hours on a medium setting. For a continuous 30-day use, you might need around 15 tanks. But remember, this varies based on your appliance efficiency and usage frequency. In the case of wood for stoves or fireplaces, the average daily consumption is about 20 to 25 pounds, translating to roughly 0.5 to 0.75 cords of wood over 30 days. However, factors like stove size, wood type, and burning frequency will affect this estimate. If you're relying on gasoline or diesel generators, 
a mid-sized generator might consume about 0.75 gallons per hour, totaling around 540 gallons for the entire period, assuming non-stop operation. The safety and storage of these fuels are paramount. Store propane tanks outdoors in a cool, shaded area. Wood should be dry, covered, and well-ventilated to prevent mold and rot. Generator fuels need secure storage in certified containers, away from your living space, in a cool and ventilated area. Moreover, be extremely cautious about carbon monoxide risks. Ensure adequate ventilation when using propane heaters, wood stoves, or generators indoors, and have carbon monoxide detectors installed. Moving to electricity alternatives, portable generators are invaluable. Make sure you have ample fuel stored safely. Solar chargers and power banks are excellent for small devices like phones and radios. And solar panels can power essential devices. Don't forget to stockpile various sizes of batteries for flashlights, radios, and other devices. Understanding the safe use of these resources is crucial to avoid hazards like fires or carbon monoxide poisoning. Never operate generators inside homes or garages. They should always be in an open outdoor area. Your preparation and knowledge in safely utilizing these resources are your best defenses to stay warm, cook, and keep essential devices operational during an extended winter blackout. This approach will not only keep you prepared, but also safe. 5. It's essential to be thoroughly equipped, especially with your medicine and first aid supplies. The reality of pharmacies being inaccessible during such times makes this even more critical. For prescription medications, a 30-day supply for each household member is imperative. This foresight is key to ensuring continuous access to necessary medications. Your stock of over-the-counter medications should be comprehensive. Pain relievers like acetaminophen or ibuprofen are essential. With a bottle of 50 to 100 tablets, tailored to your household's size and needs. You'll also need cold and flu remedies, approximately two to three boxes, each with multiple doses. Don't overlook antihistamines for allergies, keeping one to two boxes on hand, along with a pack of antacids, 50 to 100 tablets, and anti-diarrheal medications, 20 to 30 tablets. Your first aid kit must be well-rounded. It should include a variety of bandages, antiseptic wipes, 20, 30 pack, antibiotic ointment, one, two tubes, ample gauze, five to 10 rolls, medical tape, two, three rolls, scissors, tweezers, and a reliable thermometer. Include other basic first aid items like pain relief sprays and burn ointment. Additional health supplies are equally crucial. A good supply of vitamins, one, two bottles, and electrolyte packets, 20 to 30 packets, are vital for maintaining health. Also, consider specific needs for chronic conditions, extra asthma inhalers, one, two, adequate insulin for diabetics, and epinephrine auto-injectors for severe allergies, one, two injectors, making sure they're within their expiration date. Tailor this list to your household's specific health requirements. Regularly check and rotate these supplies to ensure their efficacy and safety. Such meticulous preparation is your safeguard for handling minor health issues and maintaining ongoing health needs during an extended winter blackout. 6. Pet Supplies for Emergencies American Preppers Don't forget your pets when preparing for a potential 30-day winter blackout. Their well-being is essential. Ensure you have a month's supply of their food and water considering a pet needs about an ounce of water per pound daily. Stock up on medications and include pet first aid essentials. Comfort them with familiar blankets and toys to reduce stress during blackouts. Keep them warm, especially if they have short hair, with extra bedding and insulated shelters. For sanitation, have sufficient kitty litter for cats and puppy pads or an indoor area for dogs. Remember, your pet's safety in your emergency plan means securing the whole family's well-being. 7. Essential Tools for Winter Blackouts your survival kit should include special tools and equipment. Have various flashlights and LED lanterns with plenty of batteries for essential lighting. A high quality multi-tool along with basic hand tools like screwdrivers and pliers is crucial for home repairs. Don't forget a manual can opener for accessing canned food. For cooking, use a portable stove or grill with enough fuel and use them in ventilated areas to avoid carbon monoxide risks. Stay updated with a battery-operated or hand-crank radio for news and weather. Keep mobile phones charged with solar chargers or power banks. Duct tape and zip ties are handy for quick repairs. 
Additionally, have a shovel and ice melt for snow and ice management. Regular maintenance of these tools ensures readiness for a winter blackout, helping you manage your space and stay connected. 8. Entertainment and Mental Health Without usual electronics, indoor confinement requires alternative entertainment to maintain mental well-being. Stock up on a variety of books and magazines, from thrillers to science fiction, for mental stimulation and escape. Board games, puzzles, and card games are excellent for family bonding and keeping children occupied. Art and craft activities, such as drawing, painting, or knitting, offer therapeutic benefits and foster creativity. Writing materials like journals and notebooks are great for self-expression and recording experiences. Musical instruments provide comfort and entertainment for those who play. Simple exercise equipment like yoga mats or jump ropes are vital for physical and mental health. If possible, use a generator or solar charger to power devices for a portable DVD player with movies. A battery-powered or hand-crank radio can offer music and news, helping to maintain a sense of normalcy. 9. Communication. Robust communication tools and strategies are essential, not just precautionary. Here's what you need during challenging times. Battery-powered or hand-crank radios with NOAA weather channels are vital for emergency alerts and updates. Keep cell phones charged with portable chargers or solar chargers. Remember, cell service may be unreliable, so have alternative methods. Two-way radios or walkie-talkies are great for local communication when cell networks are down. In remote areas, a satellite phone is crucial when traditional networks fail. Maintain a physical emergency contact list, including family, friends, local services, and your insurance agent. Use social media and community apps for information and local connections. In extreme situations, flares or signal mirrors can be crucial for signaling help. Don't forget the basics. Pen and paper can be indispensable for leaving messages or traditional mail. 10. Prioritize personal defense and home security. Ensure your home, your sanctuary is well protected, especially in emergencies. Strengthen your home's physical security with sturdy locks, deadbolts, window bars, or security screens. Install an alarm system, preferably with a battery backup for power outages. Alternatively, consider doorstop alarms as a simple yet effective measure. Choose defensive tools that comply with local laws and your comfort, such as pepper spray, stun guns, or firearms, with necessary training and safe storage. A strong flashlight, particularly tactical models, is useful for visibility and self-defense. If you have a security camera system, make sure it has a backup power source, like a battery or solar panel. Use emergency whistles or horns to attract attention or scare off intruders. Designate a safe room in your home with reinforced doors, essential supplies, and a way to communicate. Alongside these tools, self-defense training is vital for handling threats confidently. Always opt for legal, safe methods, and adapt your security plan to your area's specific risks. I challenge you to review your prepping plan today. What are you missing? What could you improve? Share your thoughts and tips in the comments. Let's prepare together for the harsh reality of a winter blackout. Stay safe, stay prepared, and remember, forewarned is forearmed. Thank you for watching.